Hey gang, welcome to the channel. So today we're here at M53 Ford in Birkenhead and we're taking a look at this rather gorgeous Ford Mustang Mach-E. And once again, I appear to be matching the car. <laughs> so as always, we'll take a quick look around the car and then we'll look inside and then we'll go for a drive. Now this car is in a very crowded sector of the market. But it is most definitely the best looking car. That front end looks gorgeous. Those LED lights look beautiful. Nice 19 inch alloy wheels there. A real muscle car shape down the side. And those signature Mustang tail lights. Absolutely beautiful. Now every car manufacturer at the moment is trying to make unique door handles and you know I quite like these features to an extent. Uh, Ford has done something really unique and given this little button which you press. Out the door pops, there's a little handle for your hand to open the door. The door. Bloody brilliant. And when you open the door you're greeted by a lovely stylish luxury looking door card. Uh, see that speaker there? That is Bang and Olsen I think you pronounce it. A very well respected stereo manufacturer anyway. You step inside the car and again the lights are very good today but these seats although they're not actual leather they are very high quality synthetic leather called Sensico. Very nice seats. Uh, so you enter the car and greeted by the pony symbol on the steering wheel a really neat driver screen right there a large tesla-esque screen in the middle this here is actually a sound bar again bang and olsen some rather unique materials going on here it's a very very nice interior so let's start it up now when you turn the car on, you're greeted by this really neat little screen and I think this is a really good size screen for someone who's driving. Apologies for the flickers guys, that's not the screen in the car, that is the camera on my phone. It does it every time. As you move over, this large screen in the middle of the dashboard, just like a Tesla, and it kind of looks like someone just plonked a 15 and a half inch tablet right in the middle of the dash. However, you've got all your info there, you've got your stereo which does sound pretty decent. Available to stream experience. And of course, you've got to have absolute rock on the radio because there's no other radio stations allowed. <laughs> so you connect your phone, you've got DAB, you've got Bluetooth, you've got sat nav, you've got all the bells and whistles you could possibly hope for. And if you tap on the Mustang in the top right corner, up comes your driving modes. So a whisper, which is basically your eco mode, active, basically your normal mode and then untamed, which is super speeds and also makes a nice noise while you're driving. And I mean, this little bezel here for the volume, I think is just one of the neatest touches in this car. Now, in the back of the car, the story is much the same. Nice quality door trim on the rear doors and a bang off some speaker in the door. I'm gonna close that over. And again, just surrounded by quality materials. It's genuinely a nice place to be, this car. Now, we'll do the legroom test again. Now, bear in mind, I'm five foot seven. So the front seat is set to my height, and my legs are shorter than the average man. But when we look down here, that is, again, an enormous amount of legroom. There's so much space back here. Really is impressive. Let's go and check out the boot. Now, for any of you that follow my channel or follow my reviews you'll know i have a bit of a soft spot for a power tailgate and this car yep yeah. power tailgate but the car is expensive i'd kind of expect it to be honest now i wouldn't say the boot was big for the size of the car but it's a decent usable space but not only is it a nice usable space there's also no parcel shelf intruding and that's because ford have put together this nice little system where the parcel shelf is actually attached to the tailgate. 
Oh, this is beautiful. So when you close it, so I'll use this to close it. You can actually see that little parcel shelf going down with the tailgate, which is brilliant. Now this being the rear wheel drive version, you get a lovely, big, usable frunk. That is a decent size. So here's the back with the charging cables. Look how much space there is there. Bloody brilliant. And a very neat design around the front as well with that plastic surround. Now the Ford Marquis starts at a very reasonable £42,000. But this car is not £42,000, oh no. This car is the rear wheel drive long range and has a few packs on it as well. The tech pack and a few extra options including the panoramic roof. And this car comes in at a hefty £56,830. So what do you get for your £56,000? Well, let's have a look. Because M53 Ford were good enough to give me a whole spec sheet. Oh, thanks guys. So this car has got a very good range of there being a long range version. I think it claims here 379 miles of potential range. However, the salesman has told me you're looking more like 340, 350 in the real world, which is still really good range. It's better than the Hyundai Onyx and the Kia EV6, but not quite as good as the Tesla Model Y. Now this car will do 0 to 60 in a claimed 7 seconds. And again, whilst that's really good, and you'll never need any more on uh, the public road, it's not as good as the top of the line Hyundai Ioniq 5 or the top of the line Kia EV6. It's also not as good as the base model Tesla Model Y. Hmm. But while the Ford Mac E isn't the cheapest in its class, or the quickest in its class, or got the best range in its class, one thing I will say is the interior is absolutely gorgeous. These Sensico uh, faux leather seats are really a lovely, lovely place to sit. And the interior itself, I mean, it's all soft touch materials, it's all high quality, it's much higher quality than the other cars we've driven so far this year. A much more luxury feel to the car than the Korean rivals and even than the Tesla, I'd say. Um, interior function-wise, I mean, you get the Bang and Olsen stereo system, which sounds amazing. You get the big Tesla-esque screen in the middle, which is great, and again, a little ring around the infotainment system, which looks real quality as well and is unique. You get the unique door handles, you get the power tailgate, you get an awful lot of kits straight off the bat and then we'll go through what else we got. So you get the privacy glass, you get the Sensico trim, you get a heated driver and passenger seats, you get a heated steering wheel, the 10.2 inch uh, driving cluster and a 15 and a half inch touchscreen infotainment system. Next generation sync, with connected nav, Ford Pass Connect, wireless device charging pad, I've got that in my key it's fantastic. Uh, the keyless entry system, intelligent adaptive cruise control, front and rear parking sensors, We've got the rear view camera, we've got the 360 camera as well. We've got the dual zone electric air temperature. Let's see what else we've got here to turn the page. Quick clear heater windscreen. Um, advanced active park assist, eight way power driver and passenger seats, eight way. That's decent. And the Bang & Olsen sound system as well. So you do get an awful lot of kit, but for 60, 56 grand, that's an awful lot of money. So I think we should go for a little drive, see how it drives and go from there. So how does the Mustang Mach-E drive? Well, really nice. It's um, smooth, quiet, comfortable. That phone holder is terrible. You've got everything at your fingertips. It's quick in untamed mode. It grips corners. There's not much body roll around corners. However, somehow it's still smooth over bumps. It feels like you are driving a big car, but you can kind of treat it like a bit of a smaller car. It's, it's a real nice drive and it's a nice place to be. Uh, one thing I've picked up on is that it's very quiet compared to other electric cars with regards to wind noise and road noise. You can't hear an awful lot, whereas some cars, electric cars are driven, there's quite a lot of wind noise and road noise, so that's really good. It feels like a real quality product. Now I've had a good drive of the Ford Mac E today, and I've got to say, it's been a really enjoyable experience. Not just the driving part, but having a look around it, sitting inside, looking at all the different features, I've really enjoyed it. 
The drive itself, as already mentioned, it was composed, it was calm, but also when you put it into untamed mode, which is basically sport mode, it was a different beast altogether. It was quick, it was responsive. Uh, the handling was surprisingly good. There wasn't lots of body, body roll around a long bend on the motorway. It was an enjoyable experience all around, and I've not really got anything bad to say about the car, except for the fact it's bloody expensive. But all I considered, would I buy this over a Tesla Model Y or a Kia EV6 or a Hyundai Ioniq 5? And honestly, I would. Even though it's not the quickest, even though it's not the cheapest, even though it's not the best range, I would still take this car over the others. I mean, namely, it's a really good looking car and the interior is fantastic. And the fit and finish and build quality in general is very, very good. I'd say at least slightly better than all the competition. Um, so yeah, very, very impressed with this car. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. You guys take care.